And Jessica, authorities have confirmed at least 35 people are injured and three people are dead. A 32 year old woman who was hit and killed when a driver slammed into the crowd, and two state troopers whose helicopter crashed as they monitored the rally. <laughs> A group of people were chanting and marching through the bustling college town near the University of Virginia campus when this car plows right into them. People running for safety as the car sped away in reverse. Others tending to victims as they struggled on the sidewalk before they were taken to a local hospital for treatment. The driver, now identified by police as James Alex Fields Jr. of Ohio, he's facing several charges, including second degree murder. To really realize that somebody possibly just died right in front of us and it was intentional, and then to see the, the shoes and the pools of blood on the ground and, and the debris, um, I'm still shaking from it right now just thinking about it. White nationalists plan this Unite the Right rally in response to the city's decision to remove a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Counter protesters showed up, the two sides clashing. The uh, Unite the Right rallyists came here looking for battle. They came with weapons, they came with shields, they came with pepper spray, and we're looking for any, any opportunity to surround and attack people. Hundreds of officers in riot gear rushing to clear the crowds on the ground, and up in the air, Virginia State Police chopper were also on guard, but police say one crashed, killing Lieutenant H.J. Cullen and Trooper Pilot Burke M.M. Bates. We saw the, the helicopter kind of go into a sort of spinning, tumbling dive, and um, it went down. The governor of Virginia condemned the violence. I have a message to all the white supremacists and the Nazis who came into Charlottesville today. Our message is plain and simple. Go home. You are not wanted in this great commonwealth. President Trump also spoke out from Bedminster, New Jersey. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. The Charlottesville mayor also spoke at a press conference urging people to go home to their families. Meanwhile, the suspect, James Fields, is expected to face a judge on Monday. Live in the news. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden. I will find a light in your soul. I